Today we decided to talk about the philosophy of Rockham School. The, when you talk about philosophy, basically trying to tell the basic discipline and the discipline is not something new, which was the, the real or Sanskrit of our nation, which must, most of them must have forgotten. The Rockham School is trying to uh, fill in the gap and we are practicing that. So we thought we wanted to remind the Rakum Shians all around and the other people who are watching this show from the last 817 days. The honeybee, the fly, the value. These are the only three. This is the basic philosophy which you follow. We are in, in our school and with the Rakum Shians, with the Rakum students. We always tell you when any items come to them, anything comes to them, their life, they have to break them to Trimurti, heaven and the earth, man in the center. There is the honeybee, the fly and the value. And the first thing we'll ask them is whenever you get any problems or you're getting trapped in a situation, you must always Think of this one story, the honeybee and the fly story. And what is the honeybee and the fly story? The honeybee goes around and wherever it goes, it sees the flowers. It sits on the flowers and takes whatever he wants it, the best things for him to create the honey. And if he goes to a huge big area that are full of dirt or sewage, or waste and uh, there is only one flower. The honeybee will only concentrate, focus on that one flower. If the honey, honeybee sees a garden full of thousands of flowers and the honeybee will sit only on the thousands of flowers but even if it sees below there is a cow dung or manure or waste, it will not go and sit on them. Its focus is perfect. But at the same time, the fly, if it sees a huge area full of dirt, it will go only sit in the dirt. Even if it sees that one flower beautifully flowering, it will not even go to the flower. If you see a garden full of flowers, the fly will still go to find out the dirt and will sit only on the dirt. And we will always ask our Rakum students, Rakum schools, and the Rakum shins. And the followers that they must always look into them whether they are the honeybee or the fly. And everybody says, I am the honeybee, we are the honeybee. And if you are the honeybee, the students who have been asked when they do a work and they couldn't complete the work, you are a fly. You completed the work and taken it one step forward. Every day one, one improvement, then you are a honeybee. When teachers give you a homework and you have completed the homework, you are a honeybee. If not completed the homework, you are a fly. If you follow the discipline and in Rakum school, the discipline has been created, the rules have been created with the children, discussing with the children, understanding the children's needs. And accordingly, the rules have been created. And if they follow the rules, they are a honeybee. If they break the rules, knowingly, unconsciously, they are called a honeybee. This is only one difference which makes it. And they always, at the end of the day, they always have to look into that, the honeybee. And the honeybee goes, and if their friend make a mistake, the friend also said he is a honeybee or she is a honeybee and he he or she makes a mistake he cannot the honeybee cannot sit on the dirt and come and sit in the honeycomb no honeybee will allow they will all join together attack and kill it but in Rakum school they will not join attack to kill they will make sure that honeybee also is supported to complete the homework follow the discipline like how the Agenda has been made to the last member in the club agrees. The agenda is not passed. If the last member agrees, then only the meeting is called and in the meeting they'll take hardly seconds to pass the agenda. 
and agendas boss they all coming once in a while for the meeting to just make their relationship more powerful to enjoy not to sit and fight so that is avoided so the students and the rakum students join together to the rakum family to make sure that the honey bee doesn't sit on the dirt like the fly and the value the honey bee the fly and the value how, how do you know your value you know your value because you have studied you are well dressed your language is beautiful in rakum school you are all yoga experts karate experts music and dance philosophy is with you you trained very very hard no work no food no sweat no food and once you know that beauty you will not get trapped with the five rupee knot if somebody else talks and drags you into that arena you will immediately go back to honey and the honey honey and the honey bee and the fly and you try to find out with the value whether you should get trapped with the cheapest people or convert them into your style when the rakum students go to the villages also we teach them that you try to train them or you practice and demonstrate what you have learned and convert them that should be a strategy is to try to learn from them because they have not they got nothing to teach us they are living in a confused society society has confused them and made them a nobody you are not going into the church that is very very important this is a simple strategy how do you understand the value rakum students have been taught you are a stone but a diamond you must understand how do you know that you are a diamond the moment you think somebody else is attracting you you look into your diamond whether your diamond is polished if the diamond is polished nobody can attract you the five rupee you note know, nobody can buy you the five rupee you note know. you don't get trapped whenever you fall sick and you not be able to do your homework you know your diamond was not been polished you don't need any philosophy any high technology any doctors to clean the diamond just wipe it up and how the diamond is wiped the more you do your practice the more you sweat the diamond automatically starts shining so when you don't practice and you have excess fat in your body the physical fat and your mind is corrupted then you must understand you have to polish your diamond and the stone people may look at you and you have been taught over here so much don't give unasked for advice rakum students have been taught you take a stone and go to the street wala street hawker and ask him and you tell i don't want the stone take it off but you go to russell market and you try to sell this diamond he will look at the diamond and say i'll give you 100 rupee note but if we take it to the diamond merchant in mg road he will takes it to the lab and he checks it and he will give you 250 crore that is your value you should know when to speak and to whom to attract when to smile when not to smile girl and the boy in rakum school has been taught all girls have been taught all boys have been taught don't become that ship. when as long as you are together anything you want to give a love letter to somebody first come and discuss with us there's a crush like and love the first crush if it happens rush up to us and we discuss the strategy hello when you go you are seen in the animals in the animal world hello when they go the hyenas attack and kill them when they are in a group nobody will attack and the same thing happens with the lions lions knows how to distract the crowd they will create confusion in the crowd when the crowd goes left right front back then the run starts the weakest is been caught and eaten so in rakum school we teach whenever there is a trouble sit together do not move nobody can touch you because you are a powerful rock and if anybody trying to possess us we are like a water nobody can possess us 
together is very important. So discussing everything together is very, very important. And that was the basic philosophy in every house in India. But now because of the materialistic world, it dissipated. Nobody has got the time. Hence, the family, the joint family, the family tree crashed. We are trying to knit it back. And Rakum Shens and Rakum students must understand these three philosophies, these three murti, the honeybee, the fly, and the value. Are you a honeybee or the fly? And understand the value. You are a stone. Anything is always discussed together. Never leave the group. The moment you leave the group, you think you have an individuality, 100%. Your individuality is 100% respected, but discuss it in the team. The team will tell you that other people, because the whole society is corrupted. Left, right, front, back is hawks, vultures to tear you into pieces. Hence, this three philosophy, I putting it into in, in forward to all the Rakum Shins, in the Rakum family, to the Rakum students. We practice these three and keep these three in your mind, the honeybee, the fly story and the, your value.